right guys let's save some history all right well we got a little bit of an issue right here there's a set screw right here that allows you to oil uh, the spindle where this cone you know when you have the back gears in uh, this cone just spins free on the spindle and uh, this is how you oil that that point but uh, the thing is frozen in there uh, pretty good and uh, I started trying to take it out with a screwdriver and I kind of cammed out just a little bit but I want to show you a little something on how you can kind of repair something like that at least a, a small amount it's not a hundred percent of a repair though Okay, right here is a little bit where it's cammed out and where I kind of caused a little bit of damage right there, that bright spot. Uh, the metal's gone now, so that screw slot ain't as good as it used to be. A little bit of goop here, get that out of there. Anyway, so if you raise up a burr, a lot of times uh, stuff like this happens on your vise and stuff. A lot of guys, they'll just take a file and they'll just dress it off of there. But if you actually... You know, if you file it off, that metal's gone. If you just take a ball-peen hammer, you can kind of drive it back into position a little bit. And then you won't have a, a void. You don't get crazy with it now. Actually, it feels pretty good now. All right, yeah. Okay. So the next issue, we need to get that thing out of there. So let me show you the tool we're going to use to try to break it loose. All right, so what we're going to use is called a impact drive. There it is. Now this doesn't, this doesn't look like the sort of impact drive that most people are used to seeing. But the way it works, when you hit it, hit it with a hammer and find somewhere I don't mind pushing. You hit this thing with a hammer, and that thing will turn. I don't know if you can see it move, but it'll rotate. But the good thing is, is you're driving down at the same time that it twists. Well, always the trouble with a screwdriver is trying to hold it in tight while you're putting some torque on it to turn it. Well, this accomplishes both in one motion. And uh, it'll tighten and loosen things. And in fact, uh, you can even put a socket on here brake sockets loose poor man's impact driver i guess but i think this is probably precedes the big pneumatic ones you see nowadays all right let's give her a whirl all right so first thing i'm going to do this bit actually fits pretty good in here there's not a lot of play in it but it will actually sort of seat if i just tap it a little bit and that is locked in there tight so that, that's always a good thing with a screwdriver, you know. We want it to fit the slot really, really well. All right. Let's see how this goes. See if it come loose now. <clears throat> Boy, that thing is really tight in there. All right, well, we have to oil this up some more. And... Yeah, it's like a groove right there. It's kind of weird. I wonder what that's about. All right, well, we're gonna keep working on this. Try not to tear it up. There we go. All right. Or how long it's been since that thing came out of there, huh? Yeah, some dried grease on the backside here. That's kind of par for the course. 
shoot some oil in there. Still not quite sure how to get the, the cone pulley to disengage from the bull gear here. Uh, there's a there's a nut on here or a bolt. I've got it loose, but I can't figure out how to move it, or maybe it's uh, stuck or something. I don't know what the deal is. Anyway, we'll have to keep playing with that. At least we got that part out. All right. Well. I found something else interesting of note here. Uh, this is the bracket that, uh, well, it's bearing, supports the uh, lead screw here. Uh, there's another one at the other end. But if you look, this thing ain't tight. And I didn't loosen it up yet. So I'm not sure what's going on there, why that's been loose. Although somebody did put this, uh, I don't know, it's like cardboard or something over the lead screw. I guess to trying to keep the screw clean or something like that. Perhaps that's why anyway that's sort of unusual um the other thing here we've got a little hole here i think i don't know if this is a oiling hole or what that is or maybe there's a pin but it doesn't go all the way through i don't know i'm not sure what that is strange hmm. all right well i don't know that is what it is uh, these here are oiling holes, and there's definitely some goop down inside of there. So, I think I'm going to see. Okay, we're going to take these gears here off, see if we can get this bracket to slide off, and we'll get a 2x4 or something to hold this end up. Uh, well, the carriage is right there. I suppose that's probably good enough. Let's see here. keyway in here somewhere. There's a key. There's a key. It's a little bit worn. I suppose we replace that. There's a collar on here. I bet there's a taper pin holding this collar onto the shaft here. Uh, but I think we may be able to, to slide this off without having to worry about that. Get my screwdriver. It looks like we can just take these two screws here right out. Well, look at all the junk. You know what? I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a piece of wood to put in here just to hold that up. I don't want to leave that the weight hanging on this thing. All right, we've got something propping that thing up now. Okay, this should just slide off of here. And it does. Okay. Now, let's see if the, see if this lead screw won't slide out of the, the bearing the other end. All right, so this is the half nut lever. And that there down is open. That's closed. All right, so I think I want that open. And this little knob here, it's got a star on the front. This is how you switch between power feed on the cross, you know, a cross feed or a longitudinal. So that 
there. The clutch is turning. I don't know. I should be able to open and close this right here, I would think. Something's a little stuck there. I don't know. what I'm going to have to do to pull this screw out. Seems like it should Boy. Yeah, turn. Ugh. Really hard to turn though. Maybe it's seized up a little bit over here in this. Try tapping on the end of it. Well, that's moving. Slowly but surely, that's for sure. Put a little bit more oil inside that hole, huh? Well, it kind of seems like the edge of this thing here is a little bit mushroomed, perhaps. So I'm going to try and dress it just to knock any burrs off where I drag it through that bearing. And yeah, see, there's a little something right there. Somebody's been beating on it with something not soft. And then we'll shine it up with a little bit of paper here. Um, this is a bad bearing too, so that's always good because that means if we have to, we can always rebuild that. That's considerably easier than trying to find insert bearings that are obsolete. This is something a guy can do in the shop. Keith Rucker's got a couple of videos of him doing that. Well worth watching. big spots off. Let's shine it up some. Down there. that around some yeah, still a little standing over here groove right there sort of I guess kind of <clears throat> mighty snug mighty snug Well, it seems like it's coming. Yep, 
Yep. Oh, it's almost halfway through. We should be able to get it out. There we are. Home free. Go and pull her all the way through the apron. That's one more piece off. That's comforting because I sure don't want to damage this. All right, these screws have really been abused holding this bearing on, but what? Let's see if we can't clean that up some. These are coming out. A little oil in there. Probably help. I think these have got to have to be replaced, and we're pretty ugly. And that's what happens to the head when you don't take it out the right way. So that Tom Lipton noise says, uh, chowder. <laughs> this one must have come out of New England. Ready? It's one more piece off. Get screw. Well, if you guys like old equipment and uh, seeing how to get it fixed up, why don't you click on the uh, subscribe icon over here, picture of the old horizontal mill, and uh, check out these other videos that are coming up here in a second. And uh, we'll see you around.